We will talk about keratocystic odontogenic tumor. It's important because it can grow large and it can cause displacement of teeth or destruction of jaw bone. That's why it's important. So it has aggressive nature, but it's not cancerous. It's not malignant. It means it does not give metastasis, but it has aggressive growth. Over time, it grow. Usually, growth pace is slow, but it can grow large enough to cause important problems. Uh, keratocystic odontogenic tumor is arise from remnant cells from tooth development, and it's actually it's cyst, which is filled with keratin. Keratin is protein. Our hairs and our fingernails is composed of keratin, this protein, and this protein is presented in this cyst. So it's firmer when you touch, it's not very soft. Sometimes it can be softer, but usually it's firm when you palpate and it's encapsulated well. So um, when you press, you can't rupture it easy, of course, and it's attached firmly uh, to the nearby tissues so it's not movable usually it's filmed attached most commonly it's presented on low jaw but it's also possible to um, appear on upper jaw but usually it's on low jaw uh, it grows slowly but sometimes it can be very aggressive and it can uh, it can be characterized by rapid growing it's possible also and sometimes it can rupture and get infected but such cases are rare now let's say how we diagnose it usually it's diagnosed accidentally you know, during dental x-ray because of other reasons uh, because at first stage it has no symptoms it's painless no symptoms literally so it if it's not big enough to cause serious problems person has no symptoms at all but if it grow larger person feels fullness in his or her jaw but it's more commonly among males and usually develop between the age of 10 to 13. Uh, we uh, gold standard for diagnosis is biopsy uh, when we uh, when we observe this tissue under microscope and CT scan and ultrasound also possible uh, for clearer picture and clearer borders of this growth and treatment is surgery um, we have treatment of course but uh, cure rate is not high in 60% of cases this tumor reoccurrence so reoccurrence is recurrence rate is very high and it needs constant treatment and constant observation and that's why it decreases quality of life although it's not cancerous so it it does not affect person's lifespan directly but it affects person's um, quality of life that's all i wanted to say about keratocystic odontogenic tumor thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.